this is a really quick uh, demonstration of um, iWorkforce messaging from uh, desktop to mobile and uh, vice versa. Um, basically showing also an Android material interface based on, on web UI. So first of all, there's the web, UI, the web UI interface, which is very close to uh, native um, material Android. Card-based interfaces, okay, with the hello world. Um, this is a button which, um, when you press, if you note the animation, well, I don't think you can see it very well on this on the screen record, but anyway, um, it, it also transitions quite nicely. We have a floating button down here, which is um, uh, also animated and shows, you know, the default Android options. Um, now, to show you a bit of, oh, and we obviously have the menu, which if I swipe from left to right, brings out a menu on the side. Uh, to see this in action, you probably are better off using the demo app. Showing a bit of the functionality for the demo app. The um, app is based around MQTT. Over here we have a public MQTT server called HiveMQ. I'll put the, the URL in the, in the comments below. Uh, and we're just going to connect, okay? This is web-based, I'm opening it in a normal browser. There's nothing, no special application or anything like that. So I'm going to click to connect. I am connected. Now over here we have two different operations. One is to publish, which means basically to push a message um, to, to a particular phone or to a particular topic. And a subscription, which means I would like to receive messages that are published to a particular topic. Now in my app, I've hard-coded a particular topic, which is, um, I think, 6 p.m. sending. That's that. And I believe the phone receives messages which are sent to 6 p.m. test topic. So what I'm going to do now is bring up the uh, phone and this thing side by side. So you should see, this is my phone, right? So now you should see that whatever I type in over here, once I tap publish, gets appended as a separate message card. So let's do a demo um, one, two, three. I'm going to hit publish. And there it came. Now obviously the, the screen capture isn't showing the animation, but this got animated, uh, animated showing it didn't just pop open. Um, now in view of previous problems that we've had, which had to do with Wi-Fi and sending messages while you are disconnected and so on. We've all, I've also uh, made sure that the MQTT is reliable. So if now on my phone, I enable uh, airplane mode, which cuts off obviously communication to the server. Let's enable airplane mode. First of all, the app gives me um, an indication because now this became red. But more importantly, if I send a message while offline and I publish that message, once I reconnect on the phone, it should come in on its own with no intervention. So let's disable airplane mode and wait for this thing to turn green and hopefully we'll get the message soon after. So this turned green and there's the message. Send message while offline. Uh, the reverse is also obviously possible, sending a message from the phone to the to MQTT. So I'm going to go into the into the menu activity. I'm going to click on this uh, floating button there. And then I hard coded that when I press um, this quote button over here, it will send hello world to 6 p.m. sending. So let me tap that. And there we are. 6 p.m. sending hello world. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Thank you.